Alright guys, let's jump in the lab again. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody. The channel is basically about getting better at Madden 21. So if you want to get better, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. Research has shown me that only 40% of you guys have actually subscribed. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and it allows you to be able to get access to all my videos. Okay guys, so I wanted to do um, cover four quarters and we are talking today about cover four quarters now against Bunch Tight End. Bunch Tight End is my favorite offense in the game. In my opinion, it's probably the best offense in the game because of what this offense can do uh, pretty much against everything. So uh, anyway, all that to say, what we're going to be diving into today is we're going to be talking a little bit about how do you run uh, cover four quarters against something like a Bunch Tight End. We've covered how to run it against Bunch. We've covered how to run it against um, against uh, Trips. If you, if you guys need uh, access to those videos just text me my numbers in the top left hand corner and I can get you a link to that but nickel normal and we we're gonna ba we basically have cover four quarters in our audibles as you can see right here and we're gonna be audibling into that from the 335 normal formation I believe that's the best way to run cover four quarters it gives you the best personnel and it also allows you to be able to be prepared as you can see here you need all of your zone drops need to be on default to run this defense at least the way we're gonna be testing it out and we're gonna see how this coverage works against bunch tight end and really what we're gonna try to do is again theories are great in theory this should stop bunch tight end in theory it should stop everything right but how does it actually play in the game and how do and, and, and again what are the problems that we get with it so uh, audible in cover four quarters and the adjustment that we've kind of talked through a little bit is we're gonna pretty much always bluff blitz this guy and then we're gonna deep blue this guy right that's kind of the, the core of the adjustments that we've talked about a little bit here and we're gonna start with everyone's favorite play PA boot over and again I'm just gonna basically run the play take a sack or throw it away and we're gonna cover the coverage in the instant replay replay so let's dive in here see how this plays so again bunch tied in and this crosser is wide open okay wide open crossing round not something you want to um, not something you want to see against this quarters coverage let's try that one more time and make sure that that's consistent um, make sure that that's consistent here so again bunch tied in and PA cross and basically we're going to come around here. Oh, you know what else we need to make sure we do? We need to make sure we pass commit on defense. I forgot about that. Sometimes that does matter, especially with match coverages. If you don't pass commit, um, sometimes they don't go to their assignment properly. So we need to always make sure that we're pass committing. So I'm going to pass commit here. So everybody should get out into their spot. And let's just see how this plays. So again, that deep quarter. Now this guy does a good job. As you can see, he plays the crosser perfectly. Exactly what we want to see. That match, that, that quarter on the outside because of the type of coverage it is and because of the type of formation it's going up against should do a pretty decent job at matching that crosser. And the next thing we want to test is how does this cover the drag route. Um, drag route's pretty open. Drag route's pretty open. It's, it's, it's open for him if he wants to hit that drag route. Okay. And then the next thing we want to test is how does this play uh, against the skinny post. Now, for this specific example, we're not going to use the skinny post. We're going to just let the um, – or we're not going to put our guy in a deep blue this time. We're going to just let it play as it naturally would play. Pass commit, roll out. And I just want to see – and it does. It does a good job of matching it, and we're going to be able to get the interception every single time. So good job by the defense there. Really only one major issue that we need to fix – against bunch tight in and that's the hard flat on the crossing route to the to the inside guy um, and then obviously we want to test and of course I bumped tie down on accident here uh, obviously we want to test and make sure of how this plays against uh, against the delay fade now uh, real quick as we're doing this I want to let you know that if you want to get the full defensive ebook out of 335 that's in the description okay we've kind of based out of 335 all season long really since June uh, was when we really started diving into this but anyways the reason I say that is if you want to get the full ebook it's in the description and if you want to get a free sample of the ebook all you got to do is send me a text message now I actually released a full ebook on bunch tight in as well and if you want to get that full offense we actually just released a preview of that in our text membership so once again just be, hit me up via text it's completely free for you to do that and then the full ebook is in the description so anyways this is uh, with the delay fade let's see how this delay defends the delay fade roll out throw it up and look at that it matches onto him perfectly that's actually awesome that's a that's really really big like I can roll out as much as I want and it's not gonna matter for the way that this defense is gonna defend this which is huge 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 so look right here so there's no spy okay there's no spy there's no nothing now, I pass come in and I want you to watch Rogers we're gonna roll out 
scramble, 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 scramble. He chases. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it doesn't affect the coverage? Okay. So really, this this pretty much takes care of PA boot over. The only issue that we really have to solve is the drag route, which we can use or that. Um, you know, we could we could easily use or that. Um, as far as the drag route, let's see why it's an issue here, and I just want to watch the match coverage as as it plays out. Make sure I pass commit here. If we just watch here. And there you see the drag actually gets, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of bagged. Like, that is, uh, was that Savage that takes it? So the quarter flat on the strong side takes it. So what it could look like is something like this. Another thing we could easily do on this defense is we could basically take this linebacker and put him in a hard flat. Because he's a linebacker. He's a safety, remember, because of the coverage or because of the audible down. So now look, now you got a hard flat over there. And now you got that matched up, and there's nowhere to go. And we've taken away probably the best play in the entire game. So that takes care of that. Now what we want to do is adjust out of PA boot over and see if we can't break this coverage. So again, you always want to test this when you're when you're labbing your defenses. You have to understand your coverages. There, there's always a way probably to break a coverage. You just need to know what that way is so that you can handle and take care of that. So one of the setups that probably will happen is they'll do something like this. Like this setup is very popular. So let's see how this setup works. And crossing route is wide. Pretty much, it's not wide open, but it's there. So the crossing route is kind of the thing that's going to be the, really probably where you want your user to hang out is the crossing route. And we'll go with that setup right there because that's kind of what we labbed up. So, again, uh, streak there. Like, that's our setup. Watch every route here. And see, the crossing route doesn't – see, I don't like the fact that the tight end – like, if you throw the crossing route on time, it's a dot. If you don't – I mean, that's the one unfortunate reality, I think, of this, of this defense is – Crossing routes seem to give it a little bit of trouble, unfortunately. Like, ideally, this safety would match onto him, but because the tight end is on a streak, he clears the room. And now, like you see, even if I just straight up streak the tight end and run, watch here. I mean, you see that it's wide open. This crosser is, is so open, okay? So, um, a couple things that you can do, but we want to continue to test a couple of the popular setups out of this. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over uh, curl flat corner and just see if this breaks, see if curl flat corner breaks anything on the defense as well. So curl flat corner. And curl flat corner shouldn't be able to break this coverage. We'll see if it does or not. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. So this, this will take care of curl flat corner on that left side. Um, the one thing it might not do, and we need to test that really quickly, is we're going to test and see if it breaks, if curl flat corner breaks it, if you put a different guy on the streak, right? So if you did that, and nope, doesn't break it at all. Okay. So the match coverage does good against curl flat corner, one of the more popular uh, plays, in my opinion, from bunch tight end. Obviously, PA cross is the most popular play. It's probably the best play for sure, but... Um, but now you now you know what kind of breaks your coverage, right? Um, another thing you could do is you could take this because you, you could take this guy right here and you could man him up on the crossing route if you wanted to. That would probably take that away. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I man up, if I cross because because he's a linebacker and because I audible down, I can man up that guy, that defender uh, that's down there. I can man him up on this crossing route. So if you watch. And, I mean, I guess the cross route still gets open, but, if I mean, the man coverage is kind of there for it. So you see that you can do that. That's an adjustment that you can make uh, against, this, against this scheme. One other thing that we want to test, um, and it's primarily because of the bunch tight end formation, let's test this. Let's, let's put um, our outside guy on an outside corner, like a, a dropped outside corner, and see how that does as well. See if he still matches on. And unfortunately, he matches on even worse. Okay. So that's a, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, that is that that's the 
that's the reality there. So uh, deep halving's not going to matter. It's not going to matter if you deep half or any of that stuff. That's that's not going to make a difference from the routes perspective. Um, another thing that we can want to test out is some of the more popular or some of the secret little you know routes that they can try to hit. Like this corner route right here, we turn it into doubles. It should match onto it perfectly. Um, it does leave the crosser open. So it looks to me like the solution for bunch tied in is going to basically be to come out and cover four quarters. And then what you're going to do as your user, you're going to stand right here. You're going to man that guy up, three wreck the DT. So you have that uh, discipline cover four match coverage. And then from there, you're just going to user this route right here. You're going to take that away manually. You see here, we pretty much have everything taken care of if you do that. So that looks to me to be the way to be the way to handle bunch tight end. Now I know a setup uh, for bunch tight end that does beat this coverage um, and I'm just going to kind of create it here if I can find the right play. Um, but basically it's this right here. This setup should, Valdez Scantling should get open here and this is why I say I think it's going to make a lot of sense to man him up. But if you watch here, this and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this guy, I'm, I'm gonna leave this my user in like a spy, just to kind of just to kind of clear up some space here. But if you watch about about as Scantley should get open. We'll see if he does. Nope, they match him well. Okay. There's a and I don't have the ability to get the route, but it, the play tight end corner from bunch tight end has a specific route that will sometimes give this some trouble. So I'm going to try to create the same um, type of thing here out of the curl flat, or not the curl flat, but the PA cross play. Uh, and we're just going to see if this is a beater. That's all. We're, we're really trying to test the, the three rec more than anything here. But again, motion, that we'll do that, motion them out, and then we'll just do this setup right here, see if this, this burns it. And no, it stays with it. Okay, very good, very nice. So... Basically, if you cross man triangle, um, you've got a pretty good shot with this defense here. So if you cross man that guy right there, three wreck, you know, you could three wreck anybody. I mean, you don't, you could probably get away with three wrecking um, the left side guy. And the re and I know this is going to make it a little bit different, but watch this rollout play. He should still get matched onto. Yep, perfect. So, yep, perfect. And then you have the man covered. The cross manning will help with the crossing route. So, that's bunch tight end. I mean, there's uh, there, there's only one other real play that I wanted to uh, tackle. Or, actually, there's two other plays, sorry, that I wanted to take a look at. The first one is um, the first one is the motion out corner. So, from stick. And Lazard should get matched here. Let's see if this match works. Yep, works fine. Okay, so as long as the match works fine, that's all we needed to know. Um, and then one last thing we want to test, that takes care of that. Um, the next play we want to test is the play inside switch um, with the smart routed corner route to the tight end. And this is more of a man beater that people will run, but we want to test this as well just to see how it plays. So all we're going to do is we're going to take... Um, that little motion over slant here. Now that's going to be cross manned onto corner gets taken post drop. Yep, that pretty much takes care of that play. Uh, I'm going to try one other setup out of that inside switch, and then we'll see how that looks. But so this is this is a pretty solid defense um, against this offense. Really, um, I didn't try X spot yet. I need to try X spot. Um, we'll try that here in just a second. But uh, but anyway, nickel normal cover four. And then basically what we'll do is throw that throw that guy in a cross man over there, and then we'll do that, and we'll do that that um, that three wreck hook. Okay, so what you're gonna see here is let's see inside switch, and we're gonna take Devonte Adams this time, and we're gonna basically motion slant him, and you'll see right here the route is now. See how that slant gets matched onto. So that's cover four quarters. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to hit me up via text message. Thanks for watching. And again, any questions, hit me up via text message. If you want to get the defensive ebook, that link is in the description.